What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate y'all for continuing to tune in and rock with me. I am on my way to the bank now. It's actually, what, 4 p.m.? And I do not feel any better than I did yesterday. I've been laid up in the bed all day. Still got all of my work and stuff taken care of, so uh, no worries about that. But more importantly, I got to get to the bank because I need to get these checks issued uh, to the Patreon members. So a little while back, I did an investment series where I had people pitching me their ideas. And I said that I would help them get, get started um, and fund their businesses. And so I plan on doing it again. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it again. I need to get my health right. I need to get myself together first. But I plan on doing it again and uh, another round of investment series. So right now, um, I am going to go issue $22,000 in uh, seed money to a few different businesses. So shout out to the Patreon gang gang that continue to push and do the work and grind. The link is in the description if you want to hear some of the pitches the link is in the description if you want to get some of the game that i give in a patreon but patreon members i see y'all doing a work on a discord and stuff like that so i rock with y'all i appreciate y'all and anything that i can do anything that i can do to continue to expose you to opportunities to push you to help you become better versions of yourself i am going to do that but i'm trying to find the the right balance personally right because this is one of the first days that I pretty much been in bed all day I still got up at 4 35 a.m. to make sure that you know I took care of business and things like that you know stuff still got to be done and nobody cares about how you feel or what's going on and all of this stuff people only care about the results I only care about the results at the end of the day um, and I look back and I try to evaluate what things are and how they are and all this other type of stuff. Oh, that was an update. Pretty dope. This Porsche is dope. Porsche talk. Another Porsche talk. But at the end of the day, people only care about the results. And so that's the thing that I tend to focus on. But I'm trying to find the right balance because I'm, I'm no good to anybody unless I'm good to myself. I always say you can't pour out of an empty cup. And so I'm trying to test the limits of this raggedy body we all got raggedy bodies let's be clear like this body is just temporary until you know it's expiration date but i'm trying to test the limits of what this uh this body that i'm in what what it can withstand before you know i need to step back and recharge or trying to find that daily balance how much time do you really need to be sleep you know how late can i go to bed and then I've adjusted that. So I've been going to bed a lot earlier. Um, but I've still been getting up at 4.35 in the morning. Uh, I've been trying to get at least seven hours of sleep. Most times I can't because I got all of these ideas and things that I'm trying to solve for. Just a lot of things that, you know, you got to take care of on a regular basis. And like, even now, like I didn't necessarily feel like coming out the house today and kicking it or anything like that. But definitely uh got to get to the bank and get these uh checks issued because you know they businesses and their ideas depend on it so i, I gotta get that taken care of and i love my people and so i'm always gonna make sure that i put my people first even before me so you know y'all are my tribe i love y'all i appreciate y'all for even rocking with me so an opportunity to pour back into y'all that's what we do this for so yeah i'm trying to find that balance but i don't feel that great and Again, I'm not sure if this is from, from the, the jab itself, but it definitely seems like there's a connection there. And I'm not really happy about the fact that I took it. And I'm always, you know, it's interesting because people will, will jump in the comments and say, I can't believe you and all of this, whatever. Like you supposed to be a man while you take the jab, whatever. But my thing always becomes, well, if I sat there and listened to you and made my decision based off of how you feel, how would that be any different? You know what I'm saying? How is that any different if I'm listening to you and you are the determining factor for whether or not I took the jab or not? My decision was my decision and I'm willing to deal with it and I'm willing to accept the consequences that come along with it. The consequences ain't that awesome, but I'm definitely willing to accept the consequences that come along with it. 
and go from there. So, yeah, I'm about to see what I can do about getting these people their money right now. And then we're going to go from there, all right? So, uh, but again, y'all need to uh, calm down, fam. Forest talk. Calm down, fam. Me making definitive decisions on a regular basis is one of the reasons I'm me. And one of the reasons you, you. Just remember that. I think long term, this makes the most sense. Right now, it seems a little weird. But long term, I believe that it makes the most sense. All right? I'll see y'all when I come out of the bank. Oh, so it's past 5 o'clock then. Yeah. You think that it's like 8 o'clock, but though, uh, <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah, it. Have a good one. You too. So, yeah, uh, got all of y'all businesses funded. We all set. And now all we got to do is start to plan for the next investment series. People, people are asking me sometimes, hey, well, you know, how do you know these businesses gonna work? Are they gonna be successful? I don't. You know, my experience in business says that the overwhelming majority of them will fail. I think that these businesses will be successful though because they have my guidance, they got my help, they got my funding, and I was able to vet them effectively. So. Yeah, man, I, I think that it's going to be awesome. It's an awesome opportunity for me to pour into people. And so I just love rocking with people. I love giving them kind of a game. But more importantly, I like putting, putting my own money up. And so I guess the real challenge becomes, and you don't have to do it, right? But it's a suggestion. The real challenge becomes all these people that y'all love so much, everybody that you say continue to rock with you and they better than me and all of this other type of stuff that's cool i'm with it you know at least you're rocking with somebody but how much of them are actually pouring into you how many people are actually helping you fund your businesses how many people are pushing pouring into you when it comes to their patreon every single week every week i coach every week i, I look out for people i cam up i do personal stuff when it's not even you know if you look at how much my time is worth and then how much you know the time that i put into other people you gotta start, you gotta start, you know, paying attention to the numbers and saying, oh man, okay, this dude really do pour into. But that's not it. That's not even what it's about. Because the real challenge is if y'all getting money like that, and this is for everybody, the rappers, content creators, all of this type of stuff. If you get money like that and you got everything you want, think about it. I say it all the time. I got the cars, the crib, the Rolexes, the properties everywhere, all that stuff, multiple businesses, real estate. I got everything I want. There's nothing that I don't already have that I want, right? Pour into your people. If people love you so much and they support you and they always rocking with you, how much money are you gonna put into them? How many businesses are you gonna help them start, all right? So we'll see. If nobody answers the call, no worries. And time will continue to answer the call. I'm going to keep pouring into my people. Patreon link is down in the description. Come get this game, all right? I'm about to go home and get in the bed. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.